Hey, camera Mark. Mark, can I see your position for a moment? Can you believe this? <laughs> no, I can't. Vince Papali, a man who defines motivation, determination, and enthusiasm. His rise to fame began in the middle 70s when this 30-year-old school teacher and coach decided to chase his dream and try out for his hometown, Philadelphia Eagles. With no college football experience, he defied the million to one odds and made the team, uplifting a city badly in need of a champion. Vince will always have a special place in this town because he did something that the other guys couldn't do. I mean, he took the passion of the Philadelphia fan, put it in a jersey, and threw it into the wedge on Sunday. I think he's going to be remembered as the physical manifestation of every fan's desire going back generations. But it wasn't the kind of history that you're going to be able to look up in a record book. It's the kind of history that you're going to find in the heart of a city and in the people that go to the games. And in a sense, that's the greater history because that's the one that lives on. People are going to remember him and his number and his desire and how they felt watching him play longer than they're going to remember guys that caught more passes and scored more touchdowns. Because to them, what Vince did said more about who they were as fans and as a city than anything else. And that's what his legacy is going to be. Yeah, really, fucker. Years later, Hollywood came calling. And Papali teamed up with Disney and actor Mark Wahlberg in the movie Invincible. Six all, six all. What? what did he call? <laughs> and Papali with a tremendous break on the ball. There isn't a person from Philadelphia or an Eagles fan that doesn't know who you are. Yeah, well, we so, sort of pounded so, it into them. But, you know, that actually, you know, that puts a lot more weight on my shoulders because I want to do you and the fans and the people of Philadelphia some justice in doing this role. Well, you know, that's how we felt the first time we met you and uh, just the commitment you had made to me and the city of Philadelphia, how you were going to approach this role. And, yeah. and uh, just looking at you out here on the field and the attitude you've taken, uh, you have the body doubles, but you're pushing those guys aside as much as you can to, to, to play the role the way you think it ought to be played. Yeah, well, look, I mean, that's, that, that's what, what you were about on the field, you know what I mean? It was all or nothing. Disney knew what his coach Dick Vermeil knew back in 1976. Papali was a magnet for helping make the impossible possible. He had a special way of motivating those around him. We had the t-shirts that, that we awarded every Saturday night after a game that we had won the previous Sunday. It, was, it said on it, who's nuts? And we took pride in wearing those shirts because, you know, if you got one of those who's nuts shirts, man, that meant something. That means you were a guy that, that gave it all, that busted your butt to get down and make a tackle and break the wedge and sacrifice everything for the football team. Yeah, it was, we were nuts, and Vince was the leader of the pack. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Vince Papali. With the movie's success, Mr. Invincible began taking his magnetic personality on the road, helping companies reach their potential, like Disney, Carnival Cruise Lines, Hewlett Packard, and other Fortune 500 companies. Vince is also popular on university campuses, along with many other special interest groups, like the USO. The message is simple. You can be invincible in tough times. You're too old. You're 30 years old. It's never been done before. You didn't play college football. <laughs> so anyway, here's what it is, guys. You know, the white knuckle. That's, that, that, that thing is, when you see that white knuckle, you've got to be driving forward. That's what that's about. You've got to be white knuckling it all the time. You can't take those back steps. Every once in a while, you can take a little shuffle, do your little karaoke, whatever it might be. But you cannot be gone backwards right now with all that's going on and the challenges that you have in the economy. So you've got to continually be going. But every once in a while, you've got to throw an audible out there, right? Because you think that pass is for a man-to-man -man defense and they throw a zone on you. So you've got to do something which we call INA it. You have to improvise and adjust. 
You have to improvise and adjust as you're going and you're white knuckling and you're driving forward. Happy are those who dream dreams and are willing to pay the price to make their dreams come true. Have you paid the price? You're darn right you've paid the price. You know what you've paid. You've paid the price not only sometimes financially. You had to come up with a franchise fee. You had to do whatever you had to do in order to get that. You might have had to pay the price for the family. You're 24-7 all the time with this business. I mean, there's just things that just continually go on, and you're continually paying the price. And it's the only way you're going to do it to get yourself beyond expectations. That's the only way you're going to do it. Vince Papali is one of the most sought-after speakers in the country, from charity fundraisers to documentaries like The Color Bearers. I'm Vince Papali, and welcome to The Color Bearers. Vince hits the mark, just as he did as the Eagles special teams captain. He won an open tryout held by Dick Vermeil back in 1976 to become a member of the Eagles, joining us here in studio. Great how are you, Vince? Oh, how am I? I'm with you. What oh, could be better on. than this? The NFL. I mean, You're on the NFL Network. Isn't this and amazing? Talking about your Can't story. You. I remember uh, actually where he caught my eye was running the 40. You know, here's an Italian kid that runs 4-5. That was really <laughs> unique, you know, and uh, he was the fastest guy in the camp that day, and he, he was graceful. Uh, so passionate about what he was doing. The real Vince joins us on Cold Pizza. It's great to have you here. What, you're, you're grinning ear to ear, and I saw you <laughs> at the ESPYs. You were grinning ear to ear. What's it like to have your life now a movie? It's amazing. It's just absolutely the most incredible thing. Now, live from Northeast High School, here are 6 ABC sports anchor Keith Russell and Mr. Invincible, Vince Papali. Someone will truly walk away feeling invincible. Yeah, but for everybody, Keith, everybody's going to be feeling special because this is a special event today. You've got Drew Gordon with LaSalle. Two out of the last three years, Ron Cohen's been at George Washington forever. Ten titles. It's going to be a great, great game. Wilmer under center. Play action. He's going deep. Omar Hunter! Catching everyone by surprise. Are you kidding me? You know, just taking advantage of being with the wind. Just a tremendous adjustment on the ball by Hunter. He got to the inside of the defender. Uh, he stayed with the ball the whole time. It's a, it was just a simple go route. They had a little play action in the backfield. Dynamic, motivational, personable. This family man, father of two, continues to respond to our country's need for a motivating hero. He's a man who knows firsthand what it's like to battle in tough economic times and overcome adversity. Some say I'm invincible. So when my wife made me a colonoscopy appointment at Jeff, I said, honey, you know, I'm in, in the doghouse if I don't go. So I went. Good thing I had cancer. Good thing I went to Jefferson, too. <laughs> there are many sides of Vince Papali. He's a man determined to help others realize their dreams from Dick Vermeil to Mark Wahlberg, to the players on this high school football field. Happy are those who dream dreams and are willing to pay the price to make their dreams come true. Well, I've been let down, and I've been left out, been the kind of fool people talk about, but when I'm with you, well, there ain't no doubt, I'm a lucky man. The story of Vince Buffalli is one that everyone can take a piece from, bring it into their own lives. Don't stop living.